What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at a training guide for Momentum Dribbling Maraz. So Maraz is a very, 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 very good dribbler of the ball. Lads, he is insane. His stats are absolutely incredible. I mean, obviously, Vinicius Jr. is the pick of this pack, but I think that his blend of shooting, passing, everything. If you get one of these three boys, you're going to have a game changer on your hands, right? So, 96 overall is what he goes to. And to be fair, there is only one real way that you can train this guy. It just depends on personal preference. He has a wavering form. He's on B rating. He's got everything that you could possibly want apart from double touch. That is the big key omission from this card now you could train it him in um additional stats or ad additional skills i should say but he has got pinpoint crossing and he also has got trickster which would be good when the ai is making those runs for you momentum dribbling is obviously going to impact when you are in the final third of the pitch flip flap marseille turn long range curler true pass and way to pass so a bit of a more of a playmaker i suppose from the wing um in a similar mold than if you were used to playing with messi on the wing this guy is insanely similar to that uh obviously he's a bit taller and he's a bit stronger um but i do think that other than that i think that they are kind of similar cards except that obviously uh Marez is a right footer on the right wing he can only play right flank uh or right mid but i do really like this card lads the, the 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 skills that this guy has are insane right so as i said there is only one real true way to to kind of play this guy and that is to kind of like highlight and raise as many stats as you possibly can that are already kind of at a high level right so his base card is going to be very solid as we saw there but over on eFootball db we are going to see um don't mind about the age or any of this stuff lads any of this information down here needs to be updated the stats is all we're looking for uh, which is correct but yeah there is going to be a bit of a bit of a kind of a conversation to be had with yourself as to what kind of player you want him to be because you can train him up in multiple different ways, right? We have a 96 rated version of him here. We can also try and make him a little bit more of a of a left mid or a right midfielder type player. We wouldn't need to put the dribbling that high. I would say that the dribbling would probably be okay at like 90 there. Uh, maybe like 88 type possession, we could cap it at that. And then we could get the stamina up a little bit as well as keeping the passing if we wanted to put that passing up to 80. That would be kind of more of like a pinpoint crossing type player um, that would be getting the crosses in, stunning crosses, sweeping it from left to right. I do think that though, if you are playing this guy, you definitely need to get... to See, the one thing about this card, right, is his offensive awareness. It's not as high as other wingers. Usually the offensive awareness on wingers is quite high. This guy is a little bit of a different type of player, but I still do think that this is the best version of him, right? Use this as a base, four into shooting, four into passing, nine into dribbling dexterity, and eight into lower body, right? Now, if you are the type of player that is very comfortable on the ball, like you're a very good player of the game in terms of possession, in terms of being comfortable on the ball, even under pressure and even under a press from your opponent against a sweaty meta type player that's going to just be bombarding you with pressure, then I definitely don't think you need more than 80 passing. You could take that down, right? Similarly, if you don't shoot a lot, right? If you don't take a lot of your shots, if a lot of what you do is beat the man or touching goals or overlays on the wing and use them as a 4-3-3 or a 3-2-2-3 three, three, two, two, three, uh, formation where you're using your wingers like Maraz or like Matoma or like Vinicius Jr. or Dembele or Anthony or Diaz or whoever you use Neymar on the wings to cut inside and not shoot but kind of like cross it across the box for simple tap-ins or cor corners or whatever, you can kind of let go of the shooting as well. I think 75 or 76 will keep the curl at 80. That will free up another five progression points, which when we're looking at it here, I think only need to be put in to uh, dexterity. That's where I would put it in. I'd probably take one off that as well. And I'd put one more into dexterity to get his acceleration and balance up as high as possible, get his offensive awareness up, and then we can pop one more into shooting or we can bring his low pass up to 75. I think that's probably the best version of him if you play him as a true winger if you're not too concerned about low pass and you're not con too concerned about finishing or taking shots with him right other than that you can take one off dexterity and give it to either passing or shooting depending on how you want to play him right so yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon with another training guide i hope you're enjoying these let me know uh what you think we'll be back with matoma next and then we will move on to work on the new players that have come in the nominated contract so that is it for me lads i'll talk to you in a bit peace